решетка не закреплена. Глянь, что там. Проверь эту трубу, я прикрою. Вставай! Давай подсажу! Давай! Удачи! I just want to talk, kid. Whoa, Jesus. Was this home alone? Oh, that kid's fast and small and they know their way around here. Заметил. Посмотри с той стороны, а я здесь поищу. Oh, they left their, left their back. Мы просто хотим поговорить. Oh, hey. О, Артём, держи. Стоять. Куда пошёл? Попался. Ты чего убегал? Ну чего молчишь, солдат? Зовут-то тебя как? Рядовой Кирилл Хлебников, отряд специального назначения Оском. А больше я вам ничего не Хлебника? скажу, можете сразу убивать. Значит так, рядовой, мы не желаем никому вреда. Отведи нас к своему командиру. Как это не желаете зла? Я же из Оском! Вы что, не с ними? С ними? Не знаю, кого ты имеешь в виду, но если они убивают детей, то мы точно против них. Так что можешь смело вести нас к командиру. А зачем вам командиру? У нас важное задание. Подробности можем сообщить только твоему руководству. Так что веди. Тем более, деваться тебе все равно некуда. Хорошо. Только смотри без фокусов. Нам сюда! Тут уже недалеко до станции. Какая это станция? Ну, проспект. Какая еще? Оттуда до института всего один перегон. Цель близко, Артем. Стой! Все чисто. Ну идем. Вот вы сказали цель близко. Но зачем вам институт? <laughs> а ты настойчивый. Задание у нас. Больше сказать не могу. В институте? Так оттуда давно всю зеленку вынесли. Какие там задания? Что еще за зеленка такая? Не знаете? Подождите, вы вообще с какой станции? Артем с ВДНХ, я из Полиса. А? А это где? Это в Москве, боец. Сейчас. Черт, на... What the hell? Why did that catch on fire?
This bow's really powerful. It's killing them in one hit. grenades of any type. I do want my arrows back. There should be most of my arrows, I think. Oh, a couple more. Okay. Oh, they didn't ditch us, did they? Fuck. Duh. Give me them all. <laughs> all right, that's enough of them. Special committee. down here. Growing plants? I got a generator. Wait, so I can just take this thing? Would it... Surely it would be pretty rude to take Miller's weapon. I'm not gonna take that. Looks like something entirely new, though. It looks like, uh, like a railgun or something. Сталкеры из центра спутниковой связи принесли. Давно уже. Отец, говоришь, на задание ушел. А когда он вернется? Не знаю. Давно? Месяц назад. На связь уже три недели не выходит. Oh, is this the, the kid we heard on the radio asking for their dad? Понятно. Знаешь, куда он пошел? Что за задание? Да в центр этот. Мы весной собирались уходить из города. Вот он за картой попадания и пошел. Говорил, с картой точно найдем чистое место. Ясно. Рядовой, нам нужно воспользоваться твоей радиостанцией. I'm sorry to keep pausing, but I keep noticing little things. I think the knee pads that the kid is wearing are made out of cut out pieces of uh, tin cans, maybe? Артем, попробуем связаться с Авророй. Я пойду за картой. Надо им сообщить. Аврора, как слышите? Это Мельник. Полковник? Слышу хорошо. Как мы вышли на связь? Меняем план. Мы нашли выживших. Они говорят, что центр связи цел. Я иду туда за картой. 
Артем, в институт. Принято, полковник. Как там Аня? Все еще спит. Постарайтесь там поскорее. Катя говорит, у Ани начинается новый приступ. Она настолько ослабела, что... Аврора, повторите. Прием. Аврора, как слышите? Прием. Черт. Опять помехи. Артем, если его отец действительно вычислил чистое от радиации место, это шанс для Ани, для ребят, для всех нас. Шанс на новую жизнь. Я пойду за картой. Когда будешь лекарство, встретимся здесь, потом вместе Подождите! Без антирада на улицу нельзя! Осталось три ампулы. Папа для выхода из города берег. Отлично, парень. Артем, ты можешь пока подготовиться. Вон, у них тут верстак, что надо. Кстати, если хочешь, бери рельсу мою. Тебе она, пожалуй, больше пригодится. А, so I can't take it. Только про патроны не забудь. Скажешь, в общем, когда будешь готов. Lake Baikal. Initial review. Initial review seems promising. Need more data. Это по свежей той. Интересно. Может на другой полке? Hmm. Yeah. So this is all the different places on the map. Writing notes for like how. Как все же получилось, что вы с отцом остались одни? Зеленка. Антирада не осталось почти. А без него смерть. Дальние станции взбунтовались. Комитет послал солдат. Ну и началась война. Ну дальше кто в боях, кто при пожаре погиб. Входы охранять некому, но мутанты со всех сторон сразу и прорвались. Ясно. Прости, что напомнил. А, да ничего, я привык. Ага, вот она где! Я так понял, что вон та вентиляция ведет на станцию. Да, вон та. Потом через станцию и в правый тоннель. Это внутримышечная. Введите, если плохо станет. Спасибо, боец. Вот благодаря чему они выживали все это время. Ну что, готов? What? No. Но с Богом, помни, ради чего мы все это затеяли. Жизнь моей дочери, твоей жены в твоих руках. You're gonna force me to go, are you? Just cause... What the fuck? No, I'm loading. What the hell? All I did was take the medicine, and that is how you signify that you're completely done with the place? Okay. Okay, let's take a look around while they're talking again. Oh, I guess I can't use the workbench until Miller mentions it. Oh, what is this? Is this an arcade game? Some sort of like submarine thing? Yeah, you can look through the uh, periscope. Oh, I noticed there's some real good reading material in the bathroom. Oh, oh no, not that. Mm-hmm. Metro 2034. Okay, waiting for them to get through all the dialogue again. Let's take a look at all the notes on the map. So, like I was saying before, it looks like they got all these maps and wrote notes for how likely they were to be places to actually live, trying to find somewhere to relocate to, just like us. Uh, Kalima, we'd rather have you come visit us. Vladivostok, question mark. Lake Baikal, initial review seems promising, need more data. Kemerovo, one man always on the air. Novosibirsk, radiation off the charts, and no survivors, uninhabitable. Burabai, River Valley, suspicious spot to the north, otherwise radiation is okay. Viable? 
Caspian slash Errol. Radiation level's okay. Dried up sea. Harsh climate. Risky. Jiaomantau. High radiation levels. Automated transmission. Suspicious. Volga. Ah, where'd it go? Radiation level's okay. Anomalous. Uh, electromagnetic activity. No communications. Risky. Moscow. Radiation too high. No communications. Uninhabitable. Norilsk. Radiation off the charts. Permafrost. No good. Uh, what is this? Orders to Private Klebnikov. For the duration of the commander's absence, Private Klebnikov is hereby given charge of the shelter. Besides his regular duties, he is until further notice ordered to keep the shelter door locked under any circumstances. Check the lock twice when stepping out of the shelter. Two, check the mushroom field twice a day, burning any discovered slime to ashes together with affected substrate. It's better to lose one patch than the whole field. Three, never go to the dirty stations. Four, Check and reset the traps at least once in two days. There's no need for the animals to suffer needlessly, even if they are mutants. Number five, eat the liver. Number six, eat the liver. No excuses. Number seven, keep the radio battery charged. Be ready for contact every noon, half an hour window of opportunity. Number eight, cheer up. Lieutenant Colonel Klebnikov. <laughs> oh, that's cute. From the father to the son. All right, let's take a look at this railgun. Oh, we're hurt, aren't we? Yeah. Uh, I don't think I can rest. I guess I might as well just stab myself then. I don't think we're going to be sleeping anytime soon, given the urgency of what we're doing. What do I want this to replace? I don't know, honestly. I'm sure it's not a third slot thing, right? Probably not. Hmm... Maybe I'd have replaced the assault rifle because a shotgun seems really good against mutants because it's not so much about headshotting them from a distance and armor and all that. Oh, wait a sec. Oh, it does replace the third slot thing. Okay, never mind. Let's see how this thing works. Let's take it to the bench. Wait, it's just a T car? What the hell did you do to it? Railgun upgrade. <laughs> Look what it does to the damage from three to like a million. Holy shit. Linear electromagnetic system imparting a very high acceleration to its projectiles. Has higher capacity compared to the pneumatic system. Okay. That sounds amazing. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if I want a night vision scope. I don't know how ac how accurate is this thing. Oh, it's actually incredibly accurate. Y yeah, this is like one of those end game weapons where it's just like has ridiculous stats off the charts. I guess night vision scope. We are underground. Everything tends to be pretty dark. Bigger magazine uh, decreases stability. Eh, I'll go with it. The stability is still super high. Red laser. Yeah. Okay. Oh, this needs to be cleaned. Ah, oh, it's expensive, though. This needs to be cleaned a bit, too. But not nearly as important as a shotgun, and this is something I use all the time. Do I want to spend, like, half of my remaining chemicals? Sure. Should make some more ammo for the T guard too. And what kind of stuff can I use? Just incendiary? I can use a pneumatic incendiary round. I wonder what that would do. Or just this. That already does so much damage. I don't think I need incendiary really. Yeah, let's just make a shit ton. Well, as much as I can, I guess. There we go.
Let's see how this thing is to fire. Oh my god, it looks ridiculous. It's so just has so many attachments. So how do we charge it? Does it run off this power? I don't think so. Do you not need to power it? Oh, it's self-charging, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, wait, huh? I'm not sure what the... Hmm. It charges so fast, I'm not sure what the point of pumping it up is. How fast does it shoot? Oh, Jesus. Damn, with how much damage it does per shot? That's a lot of damage. What am I pumping up? Didn't it already seem full? I don't get it. Anyway. Yeah, this thing seems amazing. Let's go. Only question about the green stuff is, the kid said to take it when you start feeling bad. Does that mean you're already you already have radiation poisoning? Shouldn't you take it before you feel bad? Hmm, <laughs> there's an enemy up there. Let's put on night vision. I can't put on night vision. Okay. Thanks for turning on the lights. Hey, red buddies. Ugh. Is there any stuff in here? Don't really want to walk over all these bodies. something moving. This place feels deeply haunted. Notebook. 12th of February. Second team has confirmed that the main warehouse is empty. Containers at the cargo yard are full of empty boxes. We have a one month reservation of radio protector. Or reservation. Reserve, rather. Time to cut down the supply. Send a team to investigate the main building. 20th of February. The team is back from the main building. 70% losses. Acceptable. Ground floor storage has around half a year's worth of radio protector at present consumption level. Put the tactics plan up for discussion at the next committee meeting. 2nd of March. Tactics plan has been approved by the committee. Maintenance department in charge of transportation. Special department will handle the track clearing operation. All surface operations reserves are to be transferred to the special department. Losses to be replaced by penitentiary contingent. Hmm, I think they're talking about stealing all the green stuff for themselves and leaving. 18th of March, track clearing operation commencing. Maintenance department reports work a week behind schedule due to insufficient supply of filters and losses above expected levels. Extra attention to maintenance. Yeah, this is what the one uh, worker talked about. Like, we know what you're up to, having us suddenly just start cleaning the tracks. 27th of March... Special department to allocate two companies for guarding the clearance teams. Reserves depleted. Work is only 30% complete. 11th of April. Riot quelled. Track 35% cleared. Additional security paying off. Losses stabilizing at replenishable levels. 
17th of April. Mass riots on multiple stations. Special Department unable to respond in sufficient force, with track clearing security occupying too many of their assets. 50% done. Progressing as per schedule now. Maintenance Department head up for commendation. 2nd of May. Riots on dirty stations. Tunnels in lockdown. Barricades at key intersections. Situation stable. Clean station population under 50 to be conscripted into the special department. 19th of May. Breakthrough in the center. Armored rail cars lost. Situation critical. 20th of May. Lieutenant Colonel Klebnikov's team has localized the breakthrough. Tunnel demolished. Rioters stopped before CB... Sibirskaya's... Uh... Str street? ST? Street track clearing resume? Something like that. Station? Uh... 70% complete. All available special department units assigned to operations security. 5th of June. Sibirskaya station lost. Lieutenant Colonel Klebnikov ordered to bring the station under control at any cost. 7th of June. Klepnikov's operation a resounding success. Rioters on Sibirskaya wiped out. Klepnikov promoted to the rank of colonel. Track clearing 90% complete. Ahead of schedule, all reserves topside. 20th of June. Track clearing 100% complete. Transportation 90% operational. Supply department quotes a range of 1,400 kilometers. Pacing on the available satellite recon data, this should be enough to get to by call through clean areas with 300 kilometers to spare. 28th of June. The engine burnt by the rioters. Plan... question mark. 17th of July. Special Department forces on the surface cut off. All reserves assembled at the HQ. 2nd of August. This is it. I think this is only fair. Yeah, given what they tried to do, fuck them. Okay, so it sounds like all these supplies that they were planning to run away with, all this green and all that stuff, the uh, the engine was burnt, but we have an engine, and the track is 100% cleared, so can we just swoop in, take the supplies, bring them on board, and go? Go to, uh, I guess, where did it say? Bacall. 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 Yeah. That's promising. Oh, this thing's loud, isn't it? It's not really very stealthy. Did the other one hear? Ugh. Gross. God, this thing is so good. Each shot is the equivalent of spending... Uh... Well, it's just the equivalent of spending one of the... First type of supply, right? The like physical material supply, not the chemicals. Because you spend 10 materials and you get 10 balls. And I'm just shooting one ball. That's so fucking good. Of course, it's not stealthy and I can't get my arrows back or anything like that, but it's cheap enough. I think it's fine. This is so eerie. God, so many people just dead. What the fuck? <laughs> Why is the skeleton T-posing? What the fuck? That just looks silly. It's not an anatomical skeleton for, like, teaching. It's just a normal dead person skeleton, but it's T-posing.
Okay, that kind of ruined the mood, but yeah, generally, this place is so creepy. Everybody just kind of like, oh God, it seems like they just sort of like died where they were. work well. Jesus. Yeah, hip firing not great with this thing. Plus my aim wasn't very great. Um, hmm. It seems to charge back up to a degree, but it's not charging all the way up now. I think I want to take the scope off. Can I switch it off for like a reflex sight? Yeah, let's go with a reflex sight. Oh, am I going to have to use their tunnels? Oh, thank God, no. Must be the fire that a lot of people died in, the kid mentioned. Yeah, all the wood's gonna- ah! All the wood's gonna be like that. I was trying to shoot it in the arm. Oof. <laughs> that was really funny. Just killed one. You probably couldn't see it, but I did. I see one over there. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. Seven shots left.
so many of them. That's all gonna break, right? Ugh. Oh, fuck. How am I doing on med kits? I've only got one left. I should try to see if I can make some more. gonna break. This won't. Hmm. That looks like a tricky body to get. Which makes me want to get it all the more. Ah, fuck! I tried to mash E, it didn't work. Oh, can I just like walk on these little supports? Oh no, they have no collision! <laughs> How do I get across now? Do I just like... Sprint and... How do you get over there? I guess you don't need to. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Actually. I don't want to take any more damage trying to get a little body around some broken boards. I never bothered looking. Yeah, not that it really means much because it's a topside map. That was a good idea. What did I just do? I hear screaming. No, probably not a good idea. Okay. Here we go. Can I turn that lantern on? Hold on. God, this looks 
so cool and atmospheric, doesn't it? <laughs> 